Hi everyone, how are you doing? And welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep with me, Tom. Now, I often get emails from commercial companies wanting me to look at or review products right here on the channel. Most of these I normally turn down because I'm probably not interested myself and I highly doubt you as an audience would be. However, once in a while I get contacted and offered a product or a service that I really can't turn down and this is one of these examples. So I was contacted by Seed Studio, a name you might have heard of in the world of IoT, education and hobby tech. And I was asked if I would do a two-part review video looking at one of their key products, the WIO Terminal. Well, I had a look online, read up about this product. It looked really interesting. So I said, yes, it's a bit of something for everybody. It's an Arduino based system, but it's also compatible with Raspberry Pi. It's completely open source, completely hackable and completely programmable. It's almost a Turing-esque universal machine for all. Sounds too good to be true, but it really does look that good. So. My first time looking at this, I'm really, really interested. I honestly think if this is as good as it says it is, this is going to be a really useful device. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here is the package. It's been very kindly uh, sent to me. Um, all packages here in the UK come with compulsory tape on all the addresses. Honestly. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look. So I've not opened this at all. I've been saving this. It's been here for a, oh, a couple of days. Let's see what we've got then. And here we are. The Seed Studio YO Terminal. Fully open source, all in one development device. It's actually got the specification on the back. I have downloaded the specs as I was going to read them out to you, but I can just read them here. So it's a um, ARM based, it's a microchip AT SAM D51, which is an ARM Cortex. Uh, clock speed is, it says here 200 megahertz. Now, it's rated at 150 megahertz, but it can overclock and run quite happily at 200 megahertz. So we've got a flash, 32-bit um, inbuilt flash, wireless, um, both 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth. We've got a built-in 24-inch LCD display, USB uh, 2, which is a uh, type C, um, expansion slot, so it has, has its own micro SD uh, card slot, which can handle up to 16 gig SD cards. Sensor, um, free axis accel accelerometer, nearly didn't say that. Built-in microphone, buzzer for sound, GPIO, it's compatible with the Raspberry Pi 40 pin GPIO. Um, we've got connectors for digital, analog, and serial. It's got onboard buttons, so one button, three programmable user buttons, and it gives you the size, which is small. So this thing is extremely well equipped for what it is. And we've got a bit more tape just to take off on the side. It's also packaged really nice as well. There we go. As I said in the intro, C Studio make really, really nice stuff. So I have uh, high hopes for this. So that was a sort of sleeve. And we have a little box here. And there we are. So here is the actual uh, YO terminal device itself. It is very small, isn't it? And we've got, I think that's an additional, is that a spur button? Joystick. Inside we've then got, it comes with a USB um, A to C cable. Now that's useful because, I mean, I don't know if I actually have any of those with that type, so that's particularly useful. And I'll just get into the bottom here and get this out. We have, oh, there we are, so we have some, a sticker sheet, 
um, including a pin-out sticker sheet, so that's quite useful. And here we actually have the manual in English, Japanese and German. And it talks about how to set up. So will you start a computer with internet access? Power up. Uh -huh. OK, so we'll, we'll come back to this in a moment. Let's have a quick look at the terminal itself then. So let's open up. There we are. So we've got a little uh, thing over the uh, protector over the uh, LCD screen. On the back we've got expansion ports and we have USB-C in the middle. This is on the underside. So here is your GPIO jumpers. This is compatible with Raspberry Pi. Then we have the micro SD card, which is optional slot here on the side. So yeah, it's a really nice looking unit. It's very well built and it's got a good weight to it. So I think what I'll do now is I'm just going to look back at the instruction manual. So hit over here and we'll see what we need to do to make this thing work. Okay, so I've just been through the uh, manual and it says here you can power up with a computer or you can power up with a mains uh, five volt charge. It says five volt, one amp. Um, I've got a 5 volt, it's an Apple iPad charge, it's uh, 2.5 amps, I think it'll be alright, so we'll, we'll try it with this. So I've got here a little cable, this came with it, we'll just take the tie off, and we will power just with that to see what it's doing on its own. So we'll plug that in one end, and put that in the mains. It is quite a short cable. Um, so I've had to just bring my uh, mains power over a little bit on the desk here. And we'll plug that into there. Power up. So we're now on. And the power switch, by the way, you can see is here on the side. So let's see now. If we go into the middle... Oh, I didn't notice that. There's three buttons on top. Okay. Now it goes into this automatic demo mode, which is a little game uh, taken from the uh, No Connection Dinosaur Jump game you get on the Google Chrome browser. So let's just see how this works. So if I go start. <laughs> so this comes, this is sort of, if you like, the stock factory test game. <laughs> not very good at this but um, it does show that this unit can actually just be programmed to run as a self-contained standalone unit in its own right the screen you'll notice is also really nice and bright bearing in mind I've still got the protective cover on mine and obviously with the power if you put an extender onto the cable which I've got plenty of extenders so I might do that in a minute um, yeah that runs runs really well. Now if you want to reset it you can pull the switch here into the down position. Let it go and that will do, there we are, a system reset. What I will also point out here is you do have this uh, multi-way or four-way d-pad style joystick in the corner so you have the three buttons here on top and you've got the jumper or the uh, controller here. So apparently this device is also meant to be magnetic, which means it's meant to be able to just stick it to a magnetic surface. Um, you see it's got two mount holes for mounting permanently onto something. But let's tell you what, let's take it downstairs and see if we can stick it to the fridge. Yes, it does actually stick to the fridge, which um, <laughs> is a novelty feature, but I suppose that might be useful. Um, overall, I'm actually really, really impressed with this. And there's so much support for it. You can head over to the Seed Studio Wiki, and on there you're going to find all the documentations and a fantastic video tutorial series all about the different projects and things this device can actually do. My personal favourite, which I must try out at some point, is the... Raspberry Pi screen mode. So basically the wire terminal can be used as an external monitor via USB 
for a Raspberry Pi. And that's not all. You can actually control the Raspberry Pi's mouse or cursor from the control buttons on the wire terminal. And it's all there and the code, you can just download it and upload it. And it's even got a video tutorial on how to do this among many, many other things. So links to the Seed Studio Wiki are in the description to this video. I'm just looking at the cost at the moment. At the time of recording, the Wyo Terminal costs $39.90, which we translate that into British pounds for you, is about 26, 27 pounds at time of recording. So this thing really has huge value considering the amount of things it does and the sheer power it has. You can buy the terminal now straight from the Seed Studio store. Head over to seedstudio.com and click on the shop, or you can follow the link directly in the description to this video. I'm thinking actually with Christmas just coming up, we're recording this just at the end of September 2021. Christmas is just coming up. This really would make the perfect present for either yourself or if you've got someone in the family or a friend that's maybe just starting out in hobby tech with Arduino or Raspberry Pi, the YO terminal is compatible with both Arduino and Raspberry Pi and it makes the perfect accompaniment uh, device. So I can highly recommend if you're stuck for gift or present ideas for Christmas, then seriously consider looking at the YO terminal from Seed Studio. So it looks really good so far, but if you're still not convinced, in part two, I'm going to put the wire terminal through its paces and we'll actually try doing some real project work with it. We'll look at how to reprogram it without actually needing to know a single line of code and using the existing Arduino IDE, I plan to get a terminal up and running to see how the wire terminal actually works with our existing tiny basic computers project hardware that we've been doing right here on the channel. So do make sure you don't miss out on that. You can click the notification bell and make sure you like and subscribe to us right here on Wi-Fi Sheep. I just want to say a huge thank you to Seed Studio for reaching out to me and sending me the wire terminal. Generally been really, really impressed and I look forward to seeing what else we can do with this in the coming months. As I've said throughout this video you can find all information and links in the video description and if you haven't done already please do like and subscribe to us here on Wi-Fi Sheep and I will see you real soon right here on the channel. Until next time thanks so much for your company bye for now.